Sorry, okay, so there we go. Drew's here as well. Gentlemen, I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys for coming to hang out with me for a little bit. I know it is extremely late over there. You're tired. Hopefully you had a cup of coffee or something. Uh, but welcome to Local Band Smokeout. Please do me a favor and properly introduce yourself. Let me know exactly where in the world you are in this moment and plug or promote anything you'd like. Nick, you want to go first? Yeah, sure. Uh, we're October Ants. Uh, we're based in Newcastle, England. Uh, Newcastle upon Tyne. And uh, Andrew is literally upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah diagonal upstairs. <laughs> yeah. So, are you guys? So you guys are roommates? Yeah. Yeah. Does, yeah, does the whole band me. stay together at all times, or? Uh, three of us do. Oh, cool. Um, our other singer used to as well, but he, uh, but he's getting married, so he bailed. Pretty lame. Man, that is um, lame. Yeah, but um, but yeah, got a bit of a band house going on. It's pretty cool. There's three of us here. That's awesome. So you guys are probably like always writing and stuff uh, during downtime, just nonstop writing, work on music, or the opposite, just eating Cheetos and playing video games. One or the other, probably. But um, <laughs> Nick, Nick never leaves the house. Nick just. I do the somewhere. writing. Andrew does the gaming. What What no, do you like What do you game when you're gaming? What do you play? Pokemon Go. Pokemon, well, if you're in the house all the time, you can't catch that many. Uh, Right? I, no, right, right. <laughs> and so Nick, right, Nick's in the house all the time, right? And, and me and Alex, our guitar player, who's he's asleep there. Uh, we wake play up. Pokemon Go. Yeah, wake up, wake up, cunt. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Like we play Pokemon Go. Like he says, I'm a gamer, but it's just Pokemon Go, really. I love it. So uh, before we dive in for you guys, I think the first song I ever heard of yours was was uh, the brand new one, uh, Playtime, which is which is superb. And I kind of did a little bit of research, not a whole lot. I'm not, I'm not the best interviewer in the world. I did a little bit of research, but it looks like you guys have done multiple band member changes throughout the years and now finally solidified the perfect piece. Is it is it frustrating not having someone as committed as you guys are in the band? Not to call any names out, I'm just saying, like in particular, like mm -hmm. you, you think you found the lineup and then all of a sudden here's a curveball surprise, like right as a big signing or something had just occurred. Well, I, I just joined last year, but I used to play for them a few years ago. I used to fill in. Uh, and then there was a problem with the old bass player. Just couldn't, like, um, I don't know what the problem was, song. but, yeah, yeah, like, he just, there's a whole thing. So I ended up joining, um, yeah, like, like, last year. And, like, yeah, like, seems pretty solid now. Like, we're still looking for, a, uh, like, a full-time drummer. But um, apart from that, yeah, like, we've got a pretty solid foundation, the five of us. So. That's awesome. I uh, went so on on my YouTube channel. You're probably the most requested band to do a reaction to I've had in a really long time, and uh, mm -hmm. from because of the UNF FD thing, I believe, and that's the same the same team or the same label as Ronnie's as Ronnie's team, right? From from Falling. No, uh, Falling in Reverse. We're in the same management. The but, same management. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. UNFD has uh, bands like North Lane, maybe, or it used to. How did and how Ron did the how did the the that management come about for you guys? Did they did they contact you, or or is that something where you're just so awesome at a social media that you you figured out a way to get your stuff to them? I'm just asking from a they're smaller bands watching us right now, and they yeah they... yeah of course of course yeah. Uh, so the way this happened for us, it was uh, we were first contacted by our booking agency, which is a uh, United Talent agency uh, over in LA, and they, they contacted us first. They then proposed to find us a manager and a lawyer, and uh, they so they can kind of was the linking. Uh, thing between us and the management. Uh, so they, they were like, they were like, "Yo, y'all mother are just bad ass. We got to get you on the team." That's 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 pretty much the the email they wrote. That's right. exactly what they said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, word for word. Hell yeah! I want to jam some some old stuff just a little bit, and then we'll do some trivia, have some fun. I don't want to keep you too long. I know you're tired over there. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna no, do I'm one old one, and then obviously the brand new one. Um, regarding the trivia, I'm gonna ask you. 
I need to know what do you guys know the most about in either the film department or TV show department? Anything from Harry Potter, Star Wars, Spider-Man, anything on Netflix, Dexter, what do you know the most about where if I ask you a question about this, you will not get it wrong because there are oh. there are tortures and other stuff, which you don't have to do. I'll do it. Oh, Michael <laughs> with us. Michael oh. got his coffee. Yeah, Michael did it. He got a monster. He got his coffee. Yeah. I'll give you a second to think about it. Um, this yeah. and we'll play Lost real quick. Uh, it's so good. It's such an awesome combo of just different genres and styles. Like it's just done beautifully for real. Um, Thanks, fun. Did I hear Lord of the Rings or that was a no? Yeah, well, like Nick said that, but I don't think I'm not getting Lord of the Rings. There's a British show called Peep Show. You ever heard of that? I, I wouldn't know anything about that one. I know everything about Peep Show. <laughs> like I could, I could like recite the whole show. But that's like some like UK shit. So why do I feel like somebody's also brought that up before? Peep Show, surely one of the funniest British comedies. I have trivia on Peep Show. Give me a second. Yeah. I'll, I'll find it. I'll find it for you. Um, let's talk about playtime though. It's a little bit of a of a change of sound from some, from the other stuff. But it's still kind of the same, but a little bit different. Um, Look at Alex there. Look at Alex. <laughs> and you guys went over top in the video. The video is badass. Michael, thank you for showing up, brother. How are you doing? I am very tired. It's very good, but I, I won't keep you guys too good. long. You look like a diehard Marvel fan, by the way. You got a badass uh, backdrop and stuff behind yeah, you. Dude. Thank you very much. Hell yeah! Um, give me a second to 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 find the trivia on Peep Show. I guess that's what we're rolling with. But can we talk about playtime? What does playtime mean lyrically? Uh, playtime is kind of about going through like uh, a phase of being an addict uh with uh substance abuse and that and um like it's not obviously it's not promoting uh to do anything but at the same time it's not like saying hey don't do drugs it's bad uh it's just like just do them a little just... <laughs> kind of that's what a you mean right just, just do them a little <laughs> i'm just joking I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that's it <laughs> um but no seriously like uh it's just like describing what you go through when you're like into that phase uh it's just wait it's like it. embracing it we're yeah, embracing it almost like you know it's bad for you but you keep doing it okay i got yeah, you it's, it's like that phase of like that like a little devil on your shoulder kind of thing keep telling you yeah exactly and you're like dude yeah, i can't exactly. not today man i gotta I, today's business day can't do it today yeah, Andrew, actually, now that since you brought it up, is that little devil. That's his role in the video. <laughs> Guys, yeah, man, yeah, man, like, over here yeah. hit the bong, dudes. Hit the bong. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah I can like, dig it for sure. Um, let me get that Peep Show trivia queued up real quick, and I'll, I'll let's jam play time for people that have never heard it before. Let's it's phenomenal. It. You guys are going to love it. So observation I made doing minimal, again, research before talking to you guys. Uh, I don't know this gentleman's name, but every other video he has the mask and he does not have the mask on in this video. Is there any significance to that? Or, no, or is that just no. a coincidence? Well, it's just like he didn't want to wear a mask at this video. Yeah. yeah okay, because every other one he has he has the mask on and, and you can't really tell. that. Yeah, I was like on this video, everybody else has a mask. So like, okay. he, I guess like he wanted to separate himself or like from like the people. Or yeah, that's clever. Mask. It's clever. That makes sense. Because yeah, that's me on the left. I was wearing a mask. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> who uh, who produced this track? I did. You did. You do all the production, Nick. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Dude, give me a hell give yeah. Me a hell yeah. <laughs> Crushed it. <laughs> Crushed it, dude. For real. What do you use? What's your DAW system that you use to do the recordings? Oh, do there's your questions. I like that. Yeah. Uh, what? Andrew. Right, uh, so I use, uh, when I record, I use a very weird DAW called Digital Performer that nobody else I know uses. Ah. Uh, it's from a Digital Performer. Called... Yeah. I have not ever performer. heard of that. Yeah, I, I knew you wouldn't. Nobody Well, does. it works. It, don't change a thing. Just keep doing it. Chat, uh, chat says it... full VST list, please. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I can give you one, but it's going to take like the whole it podcast to do that. Yeah, there's a lot. He's got a, lot a, vocal, a massive vocal chain uh, VST list. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, but when it makes, I use like Logic, which I'm guessing you're familiar with. 
Logic Pro X? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Hate uh, it, but I'm I'm a Pro Tool user. Well, when I when I used to do, I was Pro Tool oh, certified. Dude, you were one of the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Although Pro Tools is like it's almost the hardest one now. Like there's there's yeah. so, there's so much easier than than it was like ten years ago. Um, regarding yeah. Pete Prost Show. Regarding Pete Show. Yep. Let's try and stump you boys. Here we go. The two main characters in Peep Show are called Mark and Jeremy. Yeah. What is the name of Jeremy's friend who runs the recording studio? Runs the recording studio or, wait, or works at the recording studio? Is this it, Super Hands? It is Super Hands! Damn it! Yeah. Damn it. He, doesn't, he doesn't run a recording studio though. But. <laughs> Oh, it oh, says cool. it says Super Hans is Jeremy's bandmate who runs the recording studio. He's a misguided creature who believes he is an expert in everything. That's all it says. He's amazing. He's an amazing <laughs> character. You, yeah. you still got it. You still got it though. Either way, but um, so you won't, let's, you won't get me. I'm give me one more. I'm I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Let's play some more of the song real quick. How is the how has the response been for for playtime since it dropped? Uh, have you guys noticed the uh, numbers through the roof lately? I would imagine busier than normal. <laughs> Yeah, relatively. Yeah, noticed yeah. a lot of like reaction videos, which has been awesome to do. Yeah, um, fucking tons. Like seeing everyone's stuff's been awesome. Um, YouTube with being on the labels, YouTube, I guess, we've done pretty well with the uh, views and the likes and comments and stuff. Um, the reaction's been really well. To be fair, we, I don't think we were expecting as big as a reaction as well has been. I mean, the song's that damn good, so you should expect it. <laughs> but, uh, well, so. fellas, is there is there is there plans to come to the states anytime and do a little little mini run tour action or anything? Maybe some California dates. Please. <laughs> Our booking agents want to bring us so badly, but like because we haven't toured the UK yet, like our manager is like, no, you need to stop. all your horses. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, <laughs> you gotta please the the homeland and then and then come over here. But I totally exactly. get it. Um, yeah. is there, is there anything that you maybe haven't told another podcast or channel or show regarding something new coming out in the next couple months that you can just give us a teaser on? Oh, teaser as well. Ooh. Not a, not necessarily like playing a song or anything like that. Unless you're oh, willing you to do that if you want to, if, if you yes, please. Yeah! Yes, please. I, I if possible. Play like, uh, like 20 seconds. Yeah. I'll, I'll, you could, I'll make sure it's only 20 seconds. I promise. <laughs> I promise. Yep, sure. Uh, how how would I would I do that though? Uh, like, inst just can you do the file through f either Facebook Messenger or Instagram? I don't know. Ooh, all right. I so I guess go to go to your go to your Facebook October Ends page and then mess. I'll message you right now and be like hello, and then just send it there. All right, cool. I'll do that. We'll try uh, that. Oh, I got a I got a question in chat. It says. Um, how do you guys approach your melody writing? Ooh, that's a good question. That's a good question, yeah. Um, should Thank I? You or... Yeah, Nick, go for it. <laughs> yeah, um, so when I write melodies, um, uh, I think more like a producer, although I, I also sing, uh, but I think more as a producer, because like I said, I, I do the productions and that, uh, so I just like try to think like what's catchier instead of like what is going to be like an impressive vocal line. I think more like what would be um, more memorable to the listener. That makes sense. And then how how would I be able to make that sound modern, like in production terms, like what effects could I add to it? And like because there's certain melodies that will work well with some effects and like others that will not so do you do you do you have the the like instrumentals already or do you kind of go like guys i have an idea for a melody line and then you just kind of like acoustically hum it or something and maybe a riff is written to that melody or or vi or the opposite it's always music first okay much. Yeah. yeah, like ninety nine percent of the times is music first. But one, yeah. but one well, time yeah, there wasn't the case. Ideas. One time there wasn't that wasn't the case. Was it every time. <laughs> no, okay, 100%. there has been times. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. I guess there's been times where, like, one of us has wrote a song and, like, for example, I've wrote a song with melodies or whatever and we've I've said it to Nick straight away, so then Nick's changed the melodies or Alex has done something with the lyrics mm. and, or Andrew's done something with the lyrics and stuff like that. Um, I guess that can count as the 1%. So when but, when you when again, you present, like, when you guys present Nick with the instrumentals, is there, is there times when Nick's like, oh man, I got an idea for a melody, I, but would you be willing to kind of consider a different style of riff on this part for what I think would work there? Like, do you, does, does your vocal... Oh, for definitely, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. um, so, like, for example, like, I know Alex writes a lot with Guitar Pro, um, especially with these tendites. Last year, um, he wrote, I can't remember which song it actually was on the up. Um, I can't remember which song it was that he did. Uh, dwarf he wrote Penis. Can I call Pro. me before I'm dead? Yeah, Dwarf Penis. Yeah, Dwarf Penis. Yeah. So we have random little names for the songs before, obviously, we go through the actual stage. <laughs> gotcha. Just, um, and Dwarf Penis is the final name of that song. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kept this one. Chat, chat yeah. wants me to ask, um, uh, which plugin is a must when mastering your vocals? Uh, I didn't master my vocals. <clears throat> uh, let's, so, let's say, yeah. let's say the most important vocal plugin just right like, to, so right before you send it to uh, okay. the mixer or mastering. Ooh, tough question. Tough question. I would say the most important one is a good compressor. Because vocals is like, I guess, the most dynamic source that I'm dealing with, meaning like there's a lot of like differences in levels um, and leveling the vocals, which is what a compressor mainly does. I think that's the most important. Like, I is guess that, my is that in the beginning really, of your of your blockchain in the VSTs, or would that be one of the last things? This will be one of the first plugins. Cool. That that helps. That helps uh, yeah. starting up engineers and producers. Um, I don't think I. I don't think I. Oh, I got it. I got it. My bad. This whole time we've, I've been stalling, thinking you guys hadn't sent it. And you did send it. <laughs> oh, okay. So here we go. I'm gonna play it. You said only about 20 seconds, so I'm just gonna jump like randomly in the song at a certain point. Okay, it's super loud. I don't know how if I can turn it down. I think you should just play the intro to be honest. Yeah, I think you should play the intro. As I think well. you should play the first 20, like the first section. Okay. You just make it 30. It's fine. I don't think I can adjust the volume on it, so I'm just gonna go 15, 20 seconds. We're out. That's it. You're gonna have to wait till it drops. No. That's you're, gonna get. Have, you're gonna have to wait till it drops. What is the name of it? It's called Destroy Us All. Destroy Us All. Is there a tentative timetable for the release of this? Yeah, it's coming out. Yes. It's gonna be next month. Uh, we haven't announced the date yet, although we know the date. I'm gonna say late next month. Is the no, video? Like it's the first, like it, like it's the first of July. So technically. Oh, it's the first of July, right? Yeah. yeah. So this month late this month it's not going to be too long okay uh it, is there a video to to go with the with the new single yes yes and we actually filmed this one Excellent. that was the most expensive one we filmed this one in hong kong really in yeah. hong kong did you fly yeah. there just to do the video yes we only literally flew there did the music video and then came back we also have some footage from the uk you guys are badass but, man Majority was done in Hong Kong, yeah. Hell yeah. Gentlemen, I, I know it's super late over there. I just want to ask you one final question and I'll let you go. It's an important no, one though. Um, what is what is a, a really important piece of advice? I ask every guest we have on the show this. What's a piece of advice regarding the music industry someone told you in your career that changed the game for you? Or what is a terrible mistake you made early on in your career that you do not want any garage band to make that's just starting out? Um, ooh, that's a good question. We'll go, we'll go Michael <laughs> first. Uh, uh, for bands starting out, personally, I would say um, lineup, I guess. A big thing for us over the years has been trying to find a solid lineup where we're happy, where everyone's contributing the same. They can give their own ideas to the band. They'll actually contribute something to the band um, and after the past year of Andrew and Alex joining, 
and we finally have in the lineup bar from a drummer if you are listening to this and you're a drummer send us <laughs> some shit please <laughs> um but yeah like the past year has been the easiest of october ends it's ever been like the songwriting so much easier communication so much better um and obviously we're all new to the whole music industry with being signed to a label on that so it's very it's a lot of information to take in but we've got a very very good team behind us helping us with every step of the way um we literally couldn't ask for a better team to be honest with you like we've got our management from fly south win he's been an absolute godsend over the past two years um everyone from uta from our bigger agencies and stuff like that trying to help us with uh, gigs and even getting us involved with win the first place on the record level and then unified's just been great since we signed the contract every like any question we'll have they're always there so yeah it's pretty much it for me yeah i think like like another thing about lineup is like you have to actually like the people in your band because like yep. you can write like amazing music but like if you don't get on as like right. people then like you're not going to want to spend time with them and you spend so much time with people in your band like you just need to like be like friends because like 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 your family almost if you if you uh, like if you're all in it then like you gotta be able to like you know like disagree but not like completely like you know just like fucking turn on each other and that you gotta be able to like get on really well you spend so much time with them <laughs> yeah. so yeah for example cool. like andrew nick and alex live together it's like mm-hmm. a pretty much relationship <laughs> like uh yeah. me and alex are mum and dad and nick is baby bird <laughs> <laughs> I'm Daddy Bird. Nick calls me Daddy. No, I don't. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, Nick, for me for some advice? Uh, the advice that I have for anybody watching would be to not try and sound like any other band that uh, you know of. Uh, for us, I know for a fact that uh, because our label told us the reason that they signed us is because they think we sound different than every other band at their roster. Such so a like, compliment. Wanna... Such a compliment. No. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, like my advice is just if, if you want to get signed, don't try and sound like other bands. Yeah. It's great Find advice. Your own sound. That's great advice. Gentlemen, I appreciate it. I know it's late. Guys, for you guys watching out there, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell, just like I'm doing right now, so you don't yeah. miss nothing. You don't miss nothing when that new new comes out from October ends. Fellas, we're excited about the new single coming out next month. Please get some rest. We love you. We love you guys, fellas. Cheers. Thank you so much for doing this. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and uh, I'm sure I'll immediately do a reaction as soon as that new one drops. Thanks for the teaser. We appreciate it. Thank, thanks no so much for having us, man. No Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you for your time, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Peace. October Peace. ends! You guys rule. Thank you so much.